Hey folks, good to be back with you again. So I want to talk to you a little bit about the debate last night and a very key moment in the debate that I personally feel clearly dictates that Joe Biden cannot be our president because he has no grasp of what we go through as people. He has never had to work in the real world. He's been a politician his whole life. He doesn't understand hard work. He doesn't know what it is. Hard work to him is not being able to go home because he has to wait for a, someone to finish a talk about a bill. So during the debate, he brought up the subjects of restaurants reopening. And he said, as long as you know there's proper social distancing and proper PPE and all this stuff, right? Here's the problem, though. Restaurants sell tables. And they do that to cover their overhead. So, say a restaurant has 100 tables, right? It's going to have on the staff probably, uh, we'll say, for a shift, 10 servers. Okay? Now, those tables pay for those servers. 10 servers, you know, one, one, one server for 10 tables. Get good service, right? So here's the problem with the standards that Joe Biden's talking about, okay? One, restaurants have overhead. Food costs, liquor costs, licensing costs, inspections, cleaning supplies. All these things they have to have to stay in business, okay? That's one piece of the customer equation, right? So, then you bring in the cost of employees. You've got to pay those servers, Right? Unless you're a state like Alabama or Pennsylvania where you rip off your servers by giving them a prevailing wage and treat their tips like uh, it's their wage. Well, we'll get on, we'll talk about that in another video. Uh, you're paying your servers, you know, minimum wage and they get by, you know. But then you factor in social distancing. And a hundred tables becomes 50 tables. So suddenly, you don't need all those servers. Well, <laughs> there's 10 people in the unemployment line. And, uh, you know, you look at back of the house, you probably got, uh, in most restaurants, it's a fry cook, a mid cook, and a grill cook. So, yep, you know, there's a, a shift worth of employees gone because why are you going to pay people to make food that you're not going to produce because you have tables to put people in to produce the food? So you got a restaurant, 50 tables, 10 servers, maybe six people in the back of the house, right? So on top of that, you throw in PPE. You know, those bullshit face masks that don't do anything. Yeah, you throw those in. Uh, that's a cost to the employee and to the restaurant in some cases. You throw in plexiglass screens, which just like insurance, since you've made them mandatory, these companies are going to gouge these people and make these as expensive as possible and their installation as expensive as possible. Because you have to have it to open your business. And there shoots that overhead, overhead way up again. Well, suddenly you can't afford 10 servers. You can afford five. And maybe three cooks. More people to the unemployment line. And you see, solutions like this seem natural to people like Joe Biden. Because they've never been out there and worked in the real world like the rest of us. Donald Trump has worked. He's run a business. He understands us and that our economy has to work for us. That we as a nation are some of the hardest working, most dedicated human beings on the planet. So I want to encourage you on election day, get out there and vote in person. 
make your vote count. And for God's sake, do not give it to Joe Biden. I hope we come through this okay, folks. Because I can't see any policies the Democrats are encouraging that are going to be beneficial to our country. As always, folks, be decent to each other. We're on this together. God bless.